Hi guys, it's Miss Tara here with the NAS Library and I have another, another fun crafty video for you. We're going to tie dye with Sharpies. Um, it's really simple. All you need is some Sharpies, some rubbing alcohol, and a dropper of some kind. I've got a little medicine dropper here and a little container to hold the alcohol. And whatever you're going to tie dye, so I'm going to do this t-shirt today. I also recommend a piece of cardboard um, from a box or something to put between, if you're doing a t-shirt, something to put between the two sides or else it'll bleed through. And if you're going for a bleeded through look, then go for it. I put this here in between. All right, now we're ready to go. All right, so I've turned my camera around so I can show you exactly how to do this. And you can see my t-shirt here. So I've pre-drawn a circle, a triangle, and a rectangle. And when you're doing the circle, I recommend really, really getting a lot of ink on there because it works best with more ink and it works best wet. So don't let the Sharpies dry. So it's pretty simple. You just take some rubbing alcohol and drip it over the top until your um, Sharpie tie-dye design gets to the right size. And it'll keep absorbing and spreading. And again, the more ink that you put on your shirt or whatever you're dyeing, the better. So that's kind of what a circle looks like. I wanted to show you what different designs look like. Here is our triangle. Let's see what this one's gonna look like. Ooh, super cool. Isn't this neat, guys? All right. And again, the more alcohol you put on there, the bigger your circle will be. All right, so here's our yellow. Pretty cool. And again, we've got the cardboard underneath so it's not bleeding through. Look at our primary colors dance in there together. All right, so I'm going to show you another one, another design that's really cool. And this is just using dots. So I've got a purple Sharpie here. Purple's my favorite color. I'm going to do some dots. I'm kind of pushing a little hard so you can see my circle here and my design and I'm pushing a little hard to get more of the ink off of the Sharpie. So here's what it looks like when you just do dots. Ooh, so cool! So cool and satisfying. Alright. So when you're doing your shirt, you're just going to keep doing that. And you can experiment with different kinds of designs. You can try letters. You can try different shapes. You can try different dot patterns. The dot patterns are cool because when they dry, they kind of look like flowers a little bit. And these kind of look like fireworks. All right. So when you're done with this, you will have something. Let me show you one I've done earlier. We'll have something that looks like this. Isn't that cool? I did this one earlier. Um, and since it's made with rubbing alcohol, it doesn't take that long to dry, so it's really nice. And you could see here, um, this one didn't turn out so well because it didn't have as much ink. So the more ink, the more vibrant your colors will be. And you can see I tried different designs, so they all look kind of different, which is kind of fun. All right, so, and another little thing, here is a really pretty sun. I was trying in this experiment with a metallic Sharpie. So something that looks like this. The metallic Sharpies, for whatever reason, do not work when you're doing tie-dye. They just leave designs on there. So if you were gonna do a writing and then have a Sharpie tie-dye design around it, use a metallic Sharpie because it won't spread with the alcohol. But other than that, you can just keep going as long as you have space on your shirt or whatever you are tie-dyeing. So I hope you enjoyed our video on Sharpie tie-dye. Stay tuned for more crafty fun videos, but until then, bye friends!